What is going on, everybody? It's Mike Effect, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Man, it seems like forever since I recorded the last episode. But in the last episode, we almost got everything done in Freeze Easy Peak, and today we were entering into this hot, festering, boiling lava cave. Whoa! Hmm. Who would come up with a lava cave? I guess it's more like a volcano. But oh man, it's dark in here. I'll fix that in editing. Ah, broke the fourth wall. Alright, we're all doomed. So here's the next puzzle we gotta fill, or we gotta fill in. And using 11 pieces, we made the Gobi Valley. Awesome. Right, I'm gonna turn down the volume just a, just a tad because it's, it's a little loud. Alright. So we're gonna head over to Gobi Valley today. Awesome. Cool. T tubular. Man, it seems totally. Li it seems so long since I. It's been so long since I recorded the last episode of Banjo Kazooie. I miss Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, I think it's been like a week. Cause actually, I'm recording this episode the day it's coming out. So if you're watching this the day it came out, I recorded it today at 2:34 p.m. Eh, I don't want to. Whatever. 2:34 p.m. College Station, Texas. Probably gonna be uploaded around five or six. I've been trying not to be late, but they keep getting late because internet's stupid. Okay. And then we found Bruntelda. Let's see what she has to say. Grunty's best friend at Witch School was the awful Sweaty Betty. Oh, kind of like Betty Spaghetti, huh? That's weird. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts and Guts magazine. Oh, okay. I read that too all the time. While sipping a glass of her favorite camel spit milkshake. Ooh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. Oh, thank you. That's better. You side with Benjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. All right, that made sense, Grunty. I don't know what you're smoking, but it made sense. And here we are, Gobi Valley. Fun fact, did you know there's actually a Gobi Desert in the world? What? You'll find one? You'll find one of Bottles Moves here! It's actually the last of Bottles Move, and behind us is a Golden Feather and a Jinjo! Oh my gosh, Ginger! Cool. Whoa, whoa, what is this guy doing over here? Let's see what he has to say. Hello? Trunker want rain! Gasp! I'm shriveling up! How's your nuts, Bark Breath? <laughs> How's your nuts? Kazooie, will eggs? <laughs> no, cough, need water, help! Okay. Well, we have to get him water somehow. We'll eventually get there. Eventually. Do y'all remember uh, all that? From Oh, here's a new enemy. This is called a Grabba. Really easy to beat. Kind of like, let him get close to you. We'll slam down and then just bird bash into his hand. Kill him. What's up? You can't do nothing. Come get it. All right. Uh, do y'all remember that show? All that. And uh, there's like okay, when it was when it was dying down, it was stupid. But like the older one, like the one from my generation, like in the early '90s. Oh, it was so good. I remember so many skits like Repair Man and Good Burger. Oh, it was so good. I don't know what happened. Well, I mean, I know what happened. Old good shows usually just. You know, they die after a while. You can't stay good forever. Eh, I don't want the one-up right now. Alright, so this level is, in my opinion, a, a little tedious, because a, a lot of these notes are in, um, are in the sand that will hurt you, this hot piping sand. Um, so you have to get, you have to get the, you have to get the, the boots a lot, and it can get a little tedious, but... But hey, whatever. It, and also, in my opinion, it's the hardest level we've been to. Which it should be, because it's going in an order. But yeah, it's, I think it's a fairly hard level. I had a lot of trouble growing up playing it. What did I want to do? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. I think we can get over here without getting the... Because, um... okay, you see those cacti? We gotta get on top of them. And shoot some eggs into his nose. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know what my problem was. By those, I didn't get to read it. Dang it. I wasn't paying attention. Hey, that's a tickle. Alright. 
All right, so he's got to plug up his nose and uh, make him sneeze, and he'll feel a lot better. And he'll open a door for us. Awesome. Let's grab these feathers. All right. Ah, uh, that cleared up Jinxie's nose. Come on in. Oh, okay, that's nice of him to invite us in. <clears throat> so inside, we'll see a magic carpet and some more tediousness as there's four music notes in the four corners, but we'll go get the other two in a little bit. That's just so tedious. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just shoot an egg into his mouth. Easy enough, right? Okay, now really quickly, grab your ginger over here and head back. Awesome. Oh my gosh, ginger. Cool. Because they, if you don't do it fast enough, they go down and you'll have to shoot another egg. I just don't feel like, oh, no, no, no. I just don't feel like wasting an egg. Does that make sense? Because in my play, my practice playthrough of this, I was uh, running out of eggs to shoot right around this part, and I had already given, gotten those ones on the bottom on this. No, stop doing that. Every time I want to change the camera, come on. There we go. All right, and if we carefully time this jump, we'll get a jiggy. Our first one in the Gobi Valley. Awesome. So now just quickly. Climb down here. Okay, don't die though. Grab these music notes, let him try and get you, and then smash into his hand. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Uh, let's grab these eggs. We're, we're gonna need them. You're gonna need as many eggs as you can get. Also, the mumbo token. It's good to have. Just in case. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Saint ball. Alrighty, and that's all we need in here. Yay! Huzzah! I'm sorry if I sound weird today. But my throat kind of is really dry, so I'm gonna take a swig of water really quick. Yeah, that's a little better. Kind of. It still kind of hurts, but I'll get through it. I'll endure. I'll make the the best out of the worst. If that makes what? Like, are you talking to yourself again? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I mean, yes. Okay. So you may be wondering, hey Michael, why don't you just go up the hill? Well, that's because I like to do things in a certain order, okay? Sheesh. Calm down. I don't know why you gotta be so mean. Meanie pants. Meanie pants. I don't need you to judge me. Alright, so, now that we're flying in the air, let's go through these rings, and they'll go in a little order. It's like an obstacle course, only without the obstacles and more nitrogen. I was going to say air, but I wanted to sound cooler, so I said nitrogen instead. Either way. Oh, what's also cool about this level is that there is... The music's almost always constantly changing, depending on where you are. That's what I really love about Banjo Kazooie. The music is always changing. There's not just one set... I mean, there's a theme, but it's always changing the way the theme is... Uh, where am I going? The way the theme is taken... Whoa. Where, did it... Dude! It skipped, a, it skipped a person! I knew it did! There was supposed to be one that popped up here earlier. It popped up in the wrong order right now. That was stupid. Okay, come on. It popped up in the... What?! I've never seen that happen. It's supposed to pop up down there in the in the fiery the fiery desert, and then it's supposed to pop up between the cactus. It popped up in the wrong. Y'all saw it here. I didn't I didn't glitch or anything. It, it happened. Wow, that's crazy. Unless it's like random, but it's just always no. It's always been that way. That's so weird. And this is the last one, I think. I mean, come on, get it get it in the hole. That's what she said. Oh, you can do it backwards. I've done it backwards before. <sighs> Things like that. Happen. Only joking, mortal. We can give you this, and they give us our second jiggy. It's on top of the Gobi guy. The Gobi guy. I honestly forgot his name. I, I try remembering everyone's name. I forgot. Let's go into autopilot really quick. Autopilot, don't fail me now. Oh crap! It failed me. Going okay. I want to know for my sake and your sake what his name is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm the man. All right. His name, if I can look up in my memory banks, is oh, yeah. Jinxie the Sphinx. 
Jinxie the Sphincter. <laughs> Jinx the Sphincter. Ew. Bro. Who would name their Sphincter Jinx? <laughs> oh man. No, Jinxie the Sphinx. Alright, so if we get this really quick. Jumbo! Into a target. And we'll open a door. Very cool. Okay, let's jump off. Jump off here. Come on, man. Alright, just slide on down into the entrance. Awesome. We are, like, making great time, guys. We're doing well, and it's all thanks to you. It's all thanks to you guys that this happens. Okay, so here we have another character whose name seems to leave me. Here we have, um... Oh, yeah, Ruby, the snake charmer. And, come on, okay, listen to his voice and tell me, like, literally tell me that's not racist, because it is. It totally is. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Hello, my friend. I'm Ruby. Can I be some be of some help? We're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can reach it. Yes. That's so racist. Oh, good. Gosh. Would you like a slurp? Anyway, I just wanted to point that out. That it's it's a little racist. Come on, I can't be the only one thinking it's a little racist. Anyway, so let's grab these uh, music notes real quick. And uh, what you want to do is, you see that thing right there? You just want to poop some eggs into it. So I like to just post up right here. And then be like... One, two, three! There we go. Now it's going super fast. And then I go... One, two, three! Yeah. Oh, I need one more. Dang it. And... I missed. Give me my eggs back. Okay. Stop failing, Michael. You're making me look bad. Ah, thousand thanks to my friend. Hits up will now help you up. I'll help you with your quest. Just stand on top of him really quick. And he'll send you up here. Oh crap! Oh crap! Hurry, 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 hurry! Oh, that was close. Oh man! Oh, glitch! 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 Oh, glitch! <laughs> that was awesome! It kept glitching! Oh man, there's so many glitches today! Glitches galore! <laughs> okay. So now we're out there. So many glitches. Okay. So like I said, I like to do things in a certain order. So we'll get those music notes later. There, we want to go over here. And then grab these music notes on the stairs. A little staircase. Yahoo! Alright, there's all this. These staircases can be annoying, but if you. Oh, me, if you get them down, they're gonna be easy to traverse. Yeah, awesome. Sweet. Alright, and also grab these eggs while you're at it, because. I mean, you never know if you, if you keep missing and run out of eggs, and then you have to go back and get some. Alright, there's a dog thingy right there, but I don't wanna grab. I don't wanna shoot eggs at him yet. I wanna head up here. Ah. Okay. Let's grab this music note too. You know, let's just grab this one. There, yeah, hey! Okay. Now what you wanna do, as always... Oh, come on. You wanna grab the music notes. You don't wanna avoid them. And just a little... Oh, there's ginger back there. Alright, you just wanna ground pound into there. And the door will open. See, it's a little unfair because there's a cutscene happening and the numbers are still ticking down. That used to annoy me so much. Okay. So in here, it's like a memory game. It can be really hard with this guy following you around because he is, uh, initially you think he's invincible because you hit him and he, and he comes back to life. But if you use this, it'll kill him for good. So that was, that's a good thing to do. It, it can, um, because he can really screw you up. Anyway, all this really is is a memory game. Let's see if I can remember from my practice let's play. These were right next to each other. Nope. Okay. I'm not on the same plane. Uh, Ranger? Oh, right here. Oh, right, there we go. Okay. So yeah, it's just a game of memory. Nothing too spectacular, just... Just a memory game. I believe this one's up here. Oh. These are next to each other, I remember that. Yeah, okay, I cheated a little bit because I played this earlier. It's not that hard, though. It's right here. That's Banjo. Oh, I know Banjo is. Banjo's down here! Okay. Hiya! 
Hoover Ja! Dang it, was it. Is it here? Nope, that's Mumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Okay, there's a feather. I just saw a feather. Okay. I just saw an egg, too. Is the egg down here? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then two more. Mumbo Jumbo is right here, I think. Nope, that was a feather. Dang it! Here's the feather. There we go. Alright. So easy enough, and if you do this correctly, you get a Jiggy! Yes! Alright, let's grab that really quick. And that's our fourth one of this world, alright? So I think we're going to end it off there. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we're going to do more of this world, and with any luck, we'll finish it, but probably not. Alright, I'll see y'all then.